All right, today we are at Highland Park in Bloomington, Minnesota, and we're gonna go for a run, and I hope you guys enjoy. Get to come over a big, huge trestle bridge. Uh, hello. Finally getting some leaves on the trees. And this park is massive. There is a nature center here. There's a ski slopes. There's a ski jumping area. There's a bunch of lakes, a bunch of paths. In the uh, winter time, they have snow grooming so that they have all these paths are Cross country ski paths. Hello. Bikers, rollerbladers, joggers, runners, lots of people come out and join these. And there's lots of animals in this park too. I have seen deer. I have heard coyotes. We have seen snakes, frogs, and lizards. Or not lizards, frogs, and toads. Tons and tons of birds. Oh, hello. Hi. There's a few places you get into this park and you look around and you'd never know there was any civilization around. It's kind of crazy. And we are going to take this little path up the back. There's paved paths here. There's unpaved paths. And here we are to it. Up a big hill. Must have rained overnight here. Up we go. The good thing is, about hills, you get to run down them. Also, Right up the hill. It's a big one. Only a half a mile in.
check there's some disc off. Open. They're not making snow. It's not uh, season. We can run up here, and that's what we're gonna do. The turkey. It's a chair lift. Plus our hikers up the hill. More little runs off to the side here. This little lake. Up another hill. And if you're on the treadmill and you want to join me, set your incline to a little bit higher. This one feels about a 10. I don't know what it actually is, but. More lift hills, chair lifts. One mile. Sick of tow rope. Really cool views on downtown Bloomington, Richfield.
your woodpeckers, other various birds. No, these hills are killing me enough. Just had someone ask me if I was gonna run up the ski jump. And I don't think I can do that. These hills are tough enough. Manhole cover. It's kind of cool. something up here.
if you look way up there, you're able to see the top of the ski jump coming down, lands on this thing. I don't know, I might need a baby ski jump here to start with, but I think I could talk myself into going off of one of those. All right, let's keep going. One of those paths that lead up to it. We'll see if we can find those again. Well, I think that's my path right there. I think it's not there anymore. It's a long ways up there. Ew, sloppy mud. And that stuff got on my calf. What a nice shaded little path here. If it was a little flatter, it might be a little easier, but hills make you a better runner. Dog. Hello. Off to the right. I think we're gonna go behind the ski area and see what's back this way. Hey, 
see Mr. Squirrel. Oh, it smells good back here. Just woods and greenery smell. More hills up here. Might just make him a circle. Mr. Cardinal. This is the back of the ski jump. And down the hill. We're just switch back in your way up to the top. Which is the path we did last time. Up, up, hello again. If anyone who's watching this ever done one of these, let me know how it is. We've been on something similar to it. I know I've seen it in the Olympics, and I have seen kids going down it, or high school kids, or ski jumping people going on this one, and there's one about 20 minutes west, east of here. But.
that's where we were a little bit ago. If we turn around and go up, there is the ski jump. It's pretty big. All right, caught my breath. Let's go down the back side of it and back home. Do not go on it. That's what the signs say. And I'm going to agree with them. We come up to a pretty busy road right here. That says no parking anytime. It's a good thing I'm not parking. Cars always have the right away. Look. Driving through these cities, you never notice all these little hills. But having to run them is something different. Three miles. Now another lot slower. So I get into the park. Maybe. Yeah. There's a tunnel up here, I remember. I even got my own little street sign. And that means I'm supposed to wiggle.
no passing. Through the tunnels. Out of the tunnels. There's a zero percent chance of rain today. Last time when I came running, and it was like a 50% chance, I got like two seconds of shower. That's it. my path. That was good to see. and it's an up there. All right, let's just keep going. Hey, we have to turn. Uh, 
lots of maps in this one, lots of trail markers. Not too worried. Sledding hill. It's kind of cool. It's closed right now. Not a very big sledding hill, but it'll work. Blue Jay, ski paths, which is pretty cool what they do here. They have snow making machines for the trails, they're professionally groomed, there's places to rent, both classic and skate skis, they do classes, they do lots of fun stuff trying to get people into cross country skiing. Husky dogs with all that fur. How cool a view is this? Benches. It's not so too bad right now with those benches. Look at the little map here. And here we go. Just ran through a bunch of bugs. It's really buggy out right now. Oh. Just saw a sign for it. One mile.
Bye, my girls. And here's my exit. A little bit further up here. Oh. Once again, this is Donnie from Run Soda. Hope you guys enjoyed our run through the Highland Ski Area, the Big Jump, and some other park. Let me know if you guys want different types of content, different types of runs, if you like trail runs, path runs, or chase videos, let me know. And once again, thanks for coming out for a run with me, and have a good rest of your day.